Named by his father, Samson is a Hebrew term that translates to man of the sun. The stories and myths of Black Hercules have circulated through the winds for centuries. Some called him Nazareth, while others called him the Philistine killer. This man of celestial stature, broad sun-kissed shoulders, who carried the dagger of Ogun, walked as a god among men. During the blood moon sacrifices, a day established by the Philistines to sacrifice eight virgins to their god Damon, Samson was born. Like oil and water, death and life do not mix. And the witches of Dagon made sure that death was the only stench in the air. So they thought. But when the witches of Dagon heard of this sacred interruption, they vowed to kill Samson before his 18th birthday, the next blood moon sacrifices. So his mother, still shedding the afterbirth of her son, fled to the countryside of Canaan hoping to hide him from ever being found. But Samson was chosen by the gods. The blood of Samson's foreskin poured upon the earth and pierced through the darkness of the blood moon sacrifices, providing the gods with a sacred vessel, a human body, to destroy Dagon the beast. Samson's mother's desolate birth canal became the portal for Ogun the god of war and iron, to be reincarnated. The fusion between Samson's father's pure, salubrious bloodline and his mother's desecrated womb birthed a god, and they called him Samson.